Hi, you're with Scott, and it's weird time. Welcome to Weird Tube. It's midnight, it's always midnight. Got the cat. This is Shakima, she's a badass. Are you a badass? She's a badass. So, we are going to be talking about photonic induction. Guys, very quick video today on how you guys can also have fun at home, but do it safely. I'm not allowed to use this power supply because I haven't been trained on it. Who? I'm not. Warning, immediate warning. Don't do these things at home. Photonic Induction started uploading videos in, in March 2012. But I do have a feeling he'd been uploading before then. It says he's been experimenting with electricity on the internet since 2008. I might crank the amps up just a bit too much. From the first video, I was captivated by the idea that someone would be doing this sort of thing at home. Our hero uses huge amounts of electricity to create some... Just, just, just have a look. Dropping back down. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, it's dangerous, isn't it? It's da dangerous. I think that's dangerous. There's something exquisitely. Something else that I love about photonic induction is that when we were kids, I don't know if you did this, I certainly did, I broke apart electronic devices, not, not like the video and the, the telly, uh, but when things were broken or you could get a radio and have a look inside it, you know, it was always really interesting. And what photonic induction shows you is that someone's taken an interest in that sort of mechanics, engineering, electronics, and then they've asked some pretty strong questions. How fast can it go? How big can it be? Can I blow it up? And their passion and interest for that has turned into uh, a YouTube channel filled with content. It's like mad scientist stuff. There's something very beautifully eccentric about it. And I believe that's quite a British trait. So from one British eccentric to another, right, thumbs up photonic induction. And we've got a voltage preview. So if I bring this up, see the old volts rising. I don't need to hold that. If I have that control latch on, now take it up to whatever these are set at. You can set the power, the current, everything on these meters to anything you want within one watt. So I don't think we'll have a megawatt there. Okay. On my like social, political side, I think it's dangerous to show this kind of like behavior on the internet just completely openly when people may attempt to copy it without some sort of subtle or quite prominent warning to say don't try this at home but the problem with it is is that he is at home <laughs> he's at home aren't you so you know that's it is what it is isn't it like, if you ask me <laughs> To his credit, he has made a health and safety video to um, outline the dangers of playing with massive high voltages. Right, guys, 
we want to do a bit of health and safety today because we want to change this light bulb, right? This is health and safety in this country and how fucking shit it is, right? Just to change the light bulb. Right, I'm going to pass out in a minute because I can't fucking breathe with this. I can't feel fuck all. Right, this fucking car that gets on my fucking tits. I can't fucking hear shit. Right, couldn't fucking see fuck all. It's shit, right? We do have, all most of us in our homes have access to electrical sockets and appliances. We don't all have access to such industrial uh, power producing units. <laughs> We're going to plug this in to our supply and then crunch it up on that kettle. Yeah, that's okay, here's our usual setup. 20 kilowatt power supply and voltage doubler there on the right. Plenty of controls to play with. And here's our standard 240 volt kettle rated at 3000 watts. It has one pint of water inside. We're going to turn on and start cranking up, starting from 240 upwards. And we're going to observe. So thankfully, photonic induction is there to do for you what you might consider doing with your kettle or toaster if you wanted to see how many volts it could take. Let's see if we can get 10 kilowatts before that pops. Fresh water again. Yeah. Ready? Ten thousand watts. Four hundred and forty volts. That's about five. Drops a bit. Seconds. And that four. So now you don't have to. Some of the bits I like best, uh, the early video erasing the CD, at first it's almost magical and it seems like something quite interesting and scientific and it's quite satisfying to watch it erase and then when you realise it's being done in somebody's house, uh, it takes on a whole new level. <laughs> I actually found photonic induction because of the Pika Spop videos, the Speaker Pop videos. Nice. 2000 watts. Yep. Predictable. It's worth noting that the Discovery Channel picked up on photonic induction and did a little piece about his washing machine uh, destruction. I have virtually destroyed every household appliance. If it plugs in, I've destroyed it. From all of Andy's appliance annihilation, it was the washing machine mayhem that impressed enough to make the countdown. So how is the brick causing this vibrational vandalism? I'm personally a massive fan of the Extreme Speeds record player, which I'm just looking down there at the, the video. <laughs> And this is another of my personal favourites. It's beautiful, but mental. So that concludes my little video about photo and photonic. That concludes my little video about photonic induction. Check out his channel, and I'll keep bringing you more from the weird side of YouTube. I just like a little disclaimer in here. I'm not saying weird like it's bad. You know, I think it's good that we all do different and abstract things and think outside the box. So I'm celebrating the weirdness. I myself. I'm probably a weird, and uh, <laughs> probably, probably. 
And when I'm using words like mad and mental, um, I'm not trying to be derogatory to people who have serious mental illnesses, okay? Be good, my little podcasts. Be good. If you want to see me deliver these videos from studio, then you have to subscribe to my Patreon because I don't have the money for a studio. So, And here's a little bit more photonic induction. Drop a bit down the road.